I'm Soledad O'Brien. Welcome to Matter of Fact. You've seen the headlines, a national increase in violent crime. They grab our attention, but often fail to provide a clear picture of exactly what's happening. Last year, Jackson, Mississippi recorded 155 murders, almost all involved guns. It's easy to label a place for its problems. Jackson's population is about 150,000. The city's 82% black. It has a poverty rate of 25% and the highest per capita murder rate in the country. But the people there know it goes beyond statistics. It's about the immense challenges for a town. Our correspondent, Jessica Gomez, traveled to Jackson to see how the police and the community are working on a solution. The late shift for 33-year-old Jackson Police Sergeant Christian Vance. I have a lot of young people, and I say young, I mean 16, 17, 18 years old, doing violent things on a regular basis. Hey, it's Vance again. We got an update on location. It didn't take long for the first call to come in. Shots fired. Dude, calm down, Bye. man. This time, a domestic dispute, something Sergeant Vance says has skyrocketed since the pandemic. So, too, have homicides, a record number of people killed in Jackson last year. Our job is to stop it before police are involved. Nearby, Ira Henry, also patrolling the streets, but with no badge. If you like the little guy who just shot the gun, that's why he ran down the street. He's part of the new nonprofit Operation Good. They're violence interrupters, many of whom have served time and turned their lives around. Within minutes here too, the sounds of gunfire. It would happen several more times that afternoon. Going to the scene, now. Yeah, they're going to the scene. So if a siren go out three, four, five minutes from now, we know somebody shot. Operation Good crews trained and paid to be on the streets, building relationships and de-escalating before things turn deadly. How we communicate with the citizens is the way it should be. Because if you got a relationship with the community, it'll stop a lot of misunderstandings. How y'all doing? Operation Good, a welcome sight for those like retired campus security officer Vera Harris. I used to go for a walk every day, sometimes twice a day. I used to walk around this block, go a mile and come back around. Right now, I'm afraid to do that. I can't do that anymore. Her yard riddled with bullets and casings. And the sound of the gun and the make of the gun, you can tell. We just heard something. You didn't flinch. It was a gun, because I'm used to it. The city of Jackson, Mississippi's capital, and a place some say is in crisis. That headline, it, it, it doesn't tell the whole story about our city. Police Chief James Davis says the majority, more than 80% of last year's homicides, were not random, but interpersonal conflicts. The pandemic widening the cracks in Jackson's fragile social foundation, where nearly a quarter of the population live in poverty, and mental illness and addiction often go untreated. There is a mental health crisis that it takes all hands on deck to address those needs in a broken community. The Jackson Police Department, like many around the country, is understaffed. Short 88 officers in a department that should be more than 350 strong. So help me God. A push for virtual policing, the chief says, has been effective. Cameras where police can't be, but there aren't enough for the growing number of high crime neighborhoods. We can't just invest in law enforcement. We can't do that. We're not going to see the results we need. Rukia Lumumba runs the umbrella group for Operation Good and other community-based organizations. She says the city hasn't prioritized funding for neighborhood-led intervention efforts. If all we're doing on one end is locking up people, and doing nothing on the other end to actually create a better way of living for folks, then we're failing. Lumumba says efforts like Operation Good are working. With private donations in its first nine months, the group targeted a 45 block area. The result, which Jackson police confirm, more than 200 days with no homicides. You know, it motivates me to go another day, you know, another year. Motivation, Ira Henry says, to make a difference, especially for the next generation. They feel comfortable. They know their business is not going to be 
all over the street. They're not going to be talked about. Not called a snitch because we're not police. Put your hand behind your back, dog. Good. Meantime, as afternoon turns into evening, Sergeant Vance says he can use all the help he can get. We have a group of kids growing up thinking that that's normal. We need to let them know that it's not a normal way to be. It's not a normal way to live. It's unacceptable. Check this out. Man, you saw how I did it? There's nothing more important than these kids. If we focus on them and, and keep on focusing, and keep pressing and don't get discouraged and you know, dry their tears and pick them up and encourage them, I guarantee we'll look up in a few years and we'll be in better shape. Give me some. You ain't got to be scared of me. In Jackson, Mississippi, for matter of fact, I'm Jessica Gomez.